Hey y'all. So uh, I'm just giving you an update a little bit. Um, I'm working on those uh, videos, um, the tutorial videos or whatever. I just had yesterday off work so I was babysitting my niece so I didn't have time to film anything because I was cleaning up dirty diapers and feeding babies and stuff. So, um, but yes, I'm getting together some things and some information and stuff for the tutorial videos that I will be posting. Um, I don't know what they're going to be called yet. I haven't decided. Um, I, don't, I don't know yet. I'm still thinking. Um, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to stick with the idea of 10 of them. I think 10, 10 is a good number for me. So, um, yeah, I'm going to do that. And, uh, and I got some good stuff going, some good stuff getting together for it. Um, so I think we'll start off for the first video, um, talking about where Wicca originated from and what it is, uh, what, you know, what differs it from other religions, um, and, uh, yeah, and I've got some good information on that going. I'm going to write it all up so I can not, you know, lose track of what I'm talking about and go on rambling. There'll be actual videos this time. Yay. Um, and I'm excited to get into the videos farther than that, especially the, the God and the Goddess videos. And then, um, the Wheel of the Year for me is a really important one that I want to get to because, um, I still haven't seen like a really good video explaining the wheel of the year and all of the espots and the sabbat the sabbats um i still i still don't fully understand them myself so i mean i understand them but like i have to like think to remember so i want to draw up the whole wheel of the year and explain the story the little folk tale behind um, the wheel of the year and, and, and the reasons why we celebrate what we celebrate and whatnot. Um, and the comparisons of those to the, the uh, holidays you're used to. The holidays you're used to, uh, celebrating like Easter and Christmas and Yule and Ostar are extremely similar. Um, it's kind of eerily, eerily similar. Um, so if it, if this is something new to you and this you're gonna be first you're you're like oh switching you know switching what I'm celebrating that's kind of a big a big thing and it is um, like I said I still celebrate both Ooh, phone is gonna fall um, and I will keep celebrating both um, you don't have to just celebrate the one I do celebrate the holidays I grew up celebrating and I will celebrate my new sabbats and stuff too uh once i reach my year in a day i don't celebrate yet um not in form of doing ritual or or any of that stuff decorations and stuff that stuff i'll start doing after my year in a day um but i'm excited to get to that stuff because um there's not a lot of videos out there that that fully delve into the explanation of it and i don't know if maybe each sabbat needs to have its own video Maybe even so maybe I'll go past 10 videos maybe 10 of the basic videos and then I'll have videos themselves of the Sabbaths and the Espots um, for each one to go into depth of where it originated what it is how you celebrate it and all that good stuff um, but yeah so this is, this is pretty much just an update video like I said in every other video this week I'm, I'm on lunch break um, just sitting here today's been a great day i've done basically nothing at work which is awesome you love when you have work days where you do nothing um it's beautiful outside it's it's warm and it's cloudy and that's like my favorite weather ever um here we call it earthquake weather i don't know why but my, like my mom always calls it earthquake weather when it's warm but it's cloudy like it's gonna rain it's earthquake weather it's it's i don't know so if we have an earthquake within the next day that's why or that's foretold. I don't know. Old little wives tale, I guess. Um, if you're not from here and you've never experienced an earthquake, um, some people are like, oh my God, why would you live somewhere where they have earthquakes? Like you fall into the earth 
And to us, it's the same thing with, like, you people who live around tornadoes. Why would you live anywhere where your house can be picked up and thrown 300 yards by a swirling giant? No, no, I would never, ever, ever live somewhere where there are tornadoes. We've had like one or two small tornadoes here since I've been born and they're like tiny. Like I saw a funnel cloud and I freaked the F out because no, 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 no. No, I love watching movies on tornadoes and documentaries, and so does my mom. She's obsessed with them, the storm chasers and stuff. But, um, well, no, no. Earthquakes, I enjoy them, like the little ones. Little ones are fun, because you're just sitting there. And uh, I remember being in, we have them all the time. Like, not all the time, but it's, it's a, it happens at least, like, once a year. Um, ones you feel. Um, cause they do have ones that you, if you're walking around, you ain't, you won't even feel it. They're like, oh, we just had a 4.0 earthquake. And you're like, what? Really? Or like last night, did you feel that earthquake last night? No, I was asleep. I didn't feel it. But, uh, like I was in the grocery store and I'm sitting there and I stop my boyfriend at the time. And I'm like, wait, 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 wait. And he's like, what? I'm like, look around. And like everybody's standing there. It's like just standing still in the middle of the store looking up at the signs that were hanging and the signs are just swaying and then you could slowly start feeling yourself sway and it's amazing what mother earth does the things that she does and uh, earthquakes are a beautiful thing to me on small levels now the big scary earthquakes if you've seen the trailer for the new movie called san andreas with the rock uh if you have not seen it yet go watch the trailer because where I live is literally on top of the San Andreas Fault. Um, and the San Andreas Fault, since I was born, is what we've all been told is where the big one is going to happen. Uh, and we've all been warned to prepare for the big one. And uh, it, it's, I guess it's been over way overdue for the San Andreas to have a big earthquake. It, it supposedly has a ginormous earthquake every so-and-so thousand or hundred years or something and it's been way overdue so when the next earthquake happens on the San Andreas Fault they are expecting it to be like a 10.0 earthquake and that is ginormous and it will destroy Los Angeles it will destroy San Francisco because the San Andreas Fault goes from the top of California to the bottom of California and um, my town literally sits on top of it. I mean, like, the railroad tracks by my neighborhood where I grew up is on top of the San Andreas Fault. And so if it does happen, I will feel it extremely well. Our ground will crack open in the, in the middle. I mean, we might, California might even break in half and go into the sea. I'm not even kidding. Like, that, it's real. Um, scientists have warned us. We grew up in school being taught about it and to prepare for it and all this kind of stuff. It's a really scary thing. Uh, if you live in California, you know about it. Like, you know about the big one that they're always talking about. It's going to happen. Is this going to be a big one? Um, and, like, if you live here and you remember back in the 90s when we had the Northridge quake, which was pretty big and pretty, I mean, highways fell down. Like, freeways fell down on top of cars and buildings collapsed and it was crazy. I was a baby. Um, I was little, I was like three years old, I think. And I remember um, running out of our apartment building because our apartment building was very, very poorly made and it was swaying. Like, I mean, the whole apartment building was moving. Um, and it, that was pretty scary. I just remember my stepdad like running through the house and grabbing my brothers like under each arm and then like he, he like fell trying to hurry up and grabbed each kid by the arm and we darted outside because the apartment building felt like it was gonna fall down um and normally they tell you to stay inside because outside there are power lines and lights and things that can fall on you but personally I think outside space is better like if there's an earthquake while I'm at work I'm not getting under a table 
I'm going outside because there's a lot of shit on the roof in, in, in my building. I work in a manufacturing plant and there's, there's machines, there's, there's lots of things that can fall over on me. My ass is running outside. But, uh, so a lot of people like freak out when you talk about earthquakes. They're like, how can you live somewhere with earthquakes? But there are different kinds of earthquakes and most of them are like little sway ones where you just feel like this. You just go like this. Everything kind of sways. It happens for like a minute or two and it stops. Scary ones are the shaky ones. The ones where, I mean, it's just like violent shaking and shit falls off of everything and it's those are the scary ones um those i don't like so much we had one that scared the shit up it was a small one it was like 4.0 or whatever i was sitting on my computer desk and i was leaning on it with one arm and i like had my arm like this i was reading tumblr or something and uh it like my whole computer desk like fucking like move sideways and I was like mom and she's like I know get in the hallway we all ran in the hallway and stood there for a few minutes while it swayed and we were laughing because it was funny that uh, I felt it that strong on the computer desk because I had a crappy computer desk but um this is like so off topic you should totally go watch the trailer for San Andreas because a lot of people here are like oh I won't go see that movie because it's gonna scare me um and I'm like oh yeah no I'm gonna go fucking see it yeah hell yeah I'm gonna see it like I like that kind of stuff it I know it's scary because it's gonna happen like for real but um I don't care um like I, 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 I'd rather people see it and get freaked out and be like oh crap maybe I should go prepare you know maybe I should have some water you know and like an emergency kit set aside for when this happens because it is going to happen according to scientists it is going to happen and something that is going to happen i've been told for the past 10 years it's gonna happen any day now it's gonna happen any year now you need to be prepared and nobody's prepared i don't know not one person who's actually prepared for a big earthquake not one we're all we're all screwed um this is, that's totally random. I, just, I don't know. Mother Earth does amazing things and earthquakes are one of them. And I just watched that trailer for that movie today. And so earthquakes are on my mind because of the trailer and then it's earthquake weather. As I said, beautiful. I love this. I love this weather when it's hot, but it's cloudy. It's not humid though. It's not humid. We don't, we don't get a lot of humid days here. Um, so it's just hot and cloudy. And beautiful. And I will have my tutorial videos up soon. I hope. Um, like I said, I, I gotta make some props and stuff for that. Um, and I don't quite know how I'm gonna do that in the car. So I might have to do it over the weekend when I can get away from mother-in-law. Excuse me, the hiccups. Um, when I can get away from mother-in-law and go to a park or something. If they're not all friggin' closed, but if I can go to a park or something and, um, or if I can do it at home when she's not home, if she's off with her other family members, um, I don't know, hopefully, but I'm, I am working on it. I promise I'm researching and doing some stuff and getting some stuff together. So we'll have our tutorial videos up soon. Yay, I'm excited. I'm shaking my whole car. See, earthquakes, man, earthquakes, amazing. I love earthquakes, they're fascinating. Um, but anyways, that's, I just wanted to, I don't know, just felt like vlogging today. Felt like a vloggy kind of day. I had a great day at work. I'm in a good mood. I had a big old cup real coffee this morning with caffeine since I have anxiety I cut caffeine out of my life and so I allow myself a little bit of caffeine a couple times a week and it's like a treasure because I used to drink like five coffees but no I used to drink a coffee and like five sodas a day and then I went to drinking none and so now a couple times a week I allow myself some caffeine and today is one of those days so I'm just in a good mood <laughs> slept great it's a good day woke up early had time to get ready for work didn't have to rush it's just been a good day. How's y'all's day? Is it good? I hope it's good. I hope your weather has warmed up because I know some of you, it's been pretty shitty. I hope it, I hope it warms up for you because we're starting to get some good weather here. It's beautiful outside. It feels like spring. I'm happy. Yay. St. Patrick's Day is next week. Yay. And I'm on the committee at work that like puts together like the fun stuff. It's called the Funtivity Committee. Um, so we put together like stuff. So we're having like a dress up day and I'm going all out. They're like, you should dye your hair green. I'm like, no, 
I'm sticking with the purple. I put green in my hair. Hell no. I would wash out hideously. Anyways, lunch is almost over. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to update you and pretty much uh, I, I just like talking at the camera. It's fun. I enjoy it. People walk by because they go, they walk on their brakes to like lose weight and shit. Don't know why. So they walk around the parking lot. So you see people walking by and they're staring at me like I'm crazy because I know some of them. They're like, why the fuck are you videotaping yourself in the car? Whatever. Um, so thank y'all for watching. And uh, hopefully one of my next videos will be the first start of the tutorial video. I don't know. Um, we'll see when I can get that done. Uh, but I'm starting. I'm making the props and stuff. So uh, just keeping you updated. So you guys have a good day. And I will talk to you soon. Uh, blessed be. Bye.